my dear brethren in Christ Jesus book of Isaiah chapter 5 we see God compares the people of Israel to vineyard where God himself is a wine dresser and the people of Israel were the field and God tilled the ground and he removed all the stones and he planted a best grape as possible and he built a watchtower fences to safeguard the field from all kinds of enemies and he tented and he took care of well and he expected a good and sweet grape at the end it produced only sour, bitter and wild grape. God was upset with this experience and he let the vineyard to be destroyed and he let the wine branches to be burnt and he allowed the thorns to grow and finally the land, the field become wasteland. Dear brethren, this word of God clearly tells us God is always faithful to the people of Israel. He remained truthful to the covenantal relationship he made with the people of Israel. And he is holy always. Whereas the people of Israel failed to be faithful, failed to be truthful to the covenantal relationship. So here the best soil or the good soil or to produce hundredfold mean to live a life of faith, to have a strong faith in God, to have strong faith in the power of God's word. That's what that's what mean in that text. Jesus takes that uh, context, that text as an inspiration and he gives us a beautiful parable, a parable of sober where we could see four different kinds of soil. One is pot soil, another one is rocky soil, another one is thorny soil, last one is good soil. And we read the power of God, the word of God, which is described in different parts of Bible, especially book of Isaiah chapter 40, 55 verse 11 we see the word of God will accomplish the purpose for which it was sent. So the power of word of God is always there. It's forever. So only what do we learn today through this scripture is we need to receive. We need to receive it and we need to assimilate it and we need to live then only we will experience the power of God, then only our life becomes a good soil where we can produce hundredfold. So the power of God is there and we need to believe in the power of God's word. And Jesus in the Gospel of John chapter 15 teaches us, if you want to produce hundredfold, you need to remain in me. Gospel of John chapter 15 verse 4 and 5 we see Jesus uses the parable of wine and branches. I am the wine and you are the branches. If you remain in me, I will remain in you. Then you will produce hundredfold. So if you want to produce hundredfold, if you want to become a good soil, you need to have an intimate relationship with Jesus. If you abide in his word, if you abide in him, if you abide in his love, then we will receive or we will produce hundredfold. If you see all those four kinds of soil, if you compare with our own life, we could see a different kind of people who are representing these four kinds of soil. The first one, the path soil. These are the people whose mind and heart are closed. So they have laziness, they have prejudices. So since they have the laziness and prejudices and pride, their heart and their mind is closed. Closed, So God's birth cannot enter 
in their life so there is no use and there is no use to preach the word of god to this kind of people and the second kind of soil there rocky soil these are the people who are emotional people most of us are like emotional people sometimes when we are participating in the sacraments when we participate in the holy mass we are stimulated we become emotional but that emotional will not help us to produce fruit that will be there for sometimes then when the emotional comes down then there is no use and we don't experience any power of god working in us and third soil is thorny soil these are the people who are completely addicted to evil inclination evil habits so they have jealousy they have pride and they have greedy their mind is always filled with worldly things so those worldly experiences will choke the word of god then there is no fruit from their life and finally the good soil who represent the people who are open minded who always love to do good for the others so this kind of people will produce hundred fold so my dear brethren through this today's parable through this gospel jesus is telling us if you abide in me if you abide in my love then you will take me as your master and you will become my true disciple then you will be able to live a life which i taught you the life sacrificial the life forgiving the life completely offered for the good of the others so if you follow jesus if you abide in him then you will become a hundredfold who produce hundredfold who become a good soil so pray for this particular intention and in today's first reading saint paul uses the same imagery the seed a seed is sown on the field and it produces when it is produces the seed dies and takes an another form a new living a new life in the same way if you want to share in the resurrected life if you want to share a life of the death you need to die to yourself you need to die to your selfish motives selfish behavior you need to die to your sin when you are ready to die for your sin when you are ready to die to yourself when you are ready to undergo changes transformations in your life then you will able to produce hundredfold so today we remember mother mary and she is a great example to all of us who completely remained in the love of jesus who completely trusted in the power of god who completely surrender herself into the hands of god through which she become a lady a woman who produced hundredfold so let us seek her intercession so that through our life the word we always hear let us hear the word of god with earnestness and let us assimilate it with faith and let us try to live through which like our mother mary like many other saints we also can produce hundredfold